What's up everybody and welcome back to HB channel. In today's episode we will talk about bear hunting livestock animals like horse, cow, sheep and goats. Wild horses are chasing by a bear. In Canada, Alberta. The horse is running fast in the forest. A grizzly bear is chasing them. The predator is hungry and he is speed up to catch the horse. A grizzly bear is very powerful animal and is able enough to kill the adult horse. Here in Alberta, he is the apex predator. He stays in the top of food chain. An adult bear can take down alone a full grown bull or bison. Bear are natural wrestlers. They use their skill. Take down prayer. Farm animals are in threat by this huge predator. The flock of sheep is in danger. A three hungry bears. After the hard chasing, the bear managed to hunt down the horse. And now he is enjoying the trophy. To hunt down the horse, it is necessary not only the mighty power of the bear. In this case, the bear must run fast to catch the horse. When you watch the bear construction anatomy, when you look at the bear body structure, and when you see it walking normally, they don't leave the impression that this predator will be able to catch a running horse. Or to be naive and to think about that you can escape from this bear by you running fast. The chances are low. If the bear takes seriously to catch you, he will catch easily. Given their bulky physique and their slow, deliberate movements, you may be wondering how fast can a grizzly bear run? According to the National Wildlife Federation, a brown bear, also known as a grizzly bear in North America, has the quickest forelegs reaching the speed up to 35 miles per hour. This is equal with 60 km per hour. Those numbers are telling a lot. Even the Usaid Bolt cannot outrun a bear. So you better have a paper spray and use it and don't try to run. Because you don't have chance. Bear target livestock animals. Because livestock animals are easy to catch. No need to spend a lot of energy in take down a livestock animal. Domestic farm animals are fragile compared to the wild animal. That's why we use livestock guardian dog keep those predator away because the bear will come livestock guardian dog are the best solution to fend off this fearless predator like this tibetan mastiff which is facing against a blue bear main duty of livestock guardian dog is to protect the village and livestock by facing the predator and push them to fend off.
It is not easy for a single dog. Physical, the dog will never win. But mentally, the dog are strong enough to enter in the bear skin, to stressful the predator, and make him to live. Other alternative spread in the internet. When some guru pretending to protect the livestock with donkey and some else with llama to trust the livestock to be protected by two herbivores it is doubtful because donkey and llama are targeted by the predators a single bear can kill a donkey easily and more easily can kill a llama. If we pretend that the llama will not leave and will stay to fight against the bear, which in my judgment this will not happen, the llama has just two options, run or die. But the similar fate is for donkey too. A full-grown bear will easily kill a donkey. This is why I disagree with people. We see as an option donkey and llama to protect the livestock. In Euroasia, we don't use them because they are worthless. The livestock guardian dog are the best for this job. They try every tricks to stress the bear, to make pressure and to make them live. If you have different opinion or you disagree with me, write your opinion in comment section down below and let's discuss together. If you enjoy my video, subscribe to my channel, like and share and see you in the next time. Bye bye.